Top of the Monday morning, Cory Gang Fish fam. Welcome back to Fish for Thought, and it's time for Fish Tank Review. This next tank is gonna blow your mind because it blew my mind. I mean, come on, that is incredible. You know, I don't appreciate artificial decor, but this, this is something different. This is not the same. You use Nerds Gravel and purple mushrooms and fake jellyfish in your freshwater tank. The SpongeBob decor. This guy constructed a whole Asian village. You are not the same. Complete with the School of White Cloud Mountain Minnow species tank. This tank is big as well. It has depth. So even though the water is lower than the halfway point in this tank, I think the fish have enough water. It is not overstocked. What's really on point is the construction of this miniature village. I've been back to China a few times and as an adult, I'm more appreciative of the architecture architecture that I see, especially in the older villages that I've visited. And low key, it just looks like that. It really does. They build these wooden structures, wooden housing, on big solid hard rocks. And over time, the wood just starts to look old because of the water damage and being exposed to the elements. It might not be finished, lacquered properly. Then the vegetation just starts taking over, just like the moss attachments here. This is insane. The substrate has nice texture, color to them, very natural. This is a five out of five, completely without a out. There's some accents, there's some details here and there. It's a tree with exposed roots. This is just perfection. I've never seen much like this in my time. Let me know if you've seen anything like this, or is this actually blowing your mind too? This is one of a kind aquascaping right here. This is beautiful. Lots of really cool details. Are there tiny lights inside the houses that come on at night? Very inspiring. Lights can be added. That's OP's way of saying that's a freaking cool idea. I am gonna try to implement that. I would also like to see a dark mode version of this. And honestly, this is a underrated comment because this dude saw this magnificent five out of five fish tank and then thought of something that would make it even better. I wouldn't have thought about that. I'm 100% satisfied with what I see here. And I wasn't even thinking about how can I ameliorate this? It would be funny if you added a crab to crawl up in the houses like a monster. I was thinking salad. Commander, it looked like a dragon. I love this Smash Bros map. The fish becomes stage hazard. <laughs> this tank is sent by inside. It is a 60 gallon tank with 20 Congo Tetras, one red tail shark. There's some Garamis in there and an L12A Pleco, whatever the heck that means. I am not read up on my Pleco numbers. So many numbers, man. I can barely remember my birth number. <laughs> Y'all let me know what's going on with that. The Congo Tetras are looking big and healthy, schooling, filling this tank up with live vibrance. I'm not sure if everything here used is natural aquascape, but it doesn't really matter. It's not overstocked. It's a huge tank of 60 gallons. Got a big light up top. Filter system down below. Might be running a sump. I wouldn't say the aquascape itself is anything special, but I think it's conducive to the spacing and the size of the tank. And it's actually great to look at. There's a lot of live plants as well. Dark substrate all around, no BS, clean glass. 4.3 out of 5, no questions asked. Be careful who you call ugly in those dreaded cups. Ready for a glow up? Boom. We got kind of like a spine thing going on, but the fish is already looking much better. Wow. Okay, you somehow fixed the spine thing. <laughs> and the fish is pop popping off, man. This is that awkward teen to adult year finished product. Beautiful dude. Flaring. No spine problem anymore somehow. Look at the color. So vibrant. Reminds me of my own. My little rescue back in the day. What a transformation. I highly suggest all of you to go out and find a better fish that is like obviously no one wants them and they're just gonna rot in their little cups at PetSmart. Take them in, rescue them, and have this transformation experience. It actually doesn't take much. All you have to do is treat it like any other fish, proper care, feed it well, that's it. It'll transform for you. And it'll be one of the most satisfying experiences you'll ever have and give you so much confidence in this hobby to come. Amir Fuad sent in this tank. Endler's live bear right in the middle there. Ooh, a very pregnant female. I'm excited for you, bro. Nice shrimps, snails. Nice little tank. I don't think it's too small for just a couple of endlers. Once they start breeding and babies start coming, Coming out, you should probably rehome them if you can. I like what you did with the place. Live plants all around. Short foreground plants. Nice healthy clump of background plants. A fallen over stump with the roots jutting out towards the front of the tank. Very enjoyable to look at. This small but sweet tank is getting a scape score of 4.65 out of 5. Keep it up. Hey guys, thank you for sponsoring Chris so that I can eat yummy foods. Smash like right now or I'll smash you. And support them on Patreon so you can talk to his entire FFT fish keeping community. I don't know 
what they talk about, but they sure do talk a lot. Anyone else's family think they're doing drugs when they walk in while you're checking your water? That does look like you're on a set of Breaking Bad right there. You're about to make some of that blue stuff. Try to make some crystals happen. Straw sent in this tank. It is their first tank as a six gallon, and they might put some shrimp in the future, which is a perfect thing to add in here. Oh, I see the ZZ plant. At least I think that's a ZZ plant. It's in a lovely plant holder. One of my favorite house plants, the ZZ plant. I got a ZZ raven named Zendaya. What a beautiful girl. And a normal ZZ plant. Tom Holland. Mwah. You're so good at being Spider-Man. Quite a nice scape, quite an interesting scape. The hardscape reminds me of a lookout point on the top of a hike. The hygrophila polysperma growing very tall. You can trim that, replant it, it'll grow a wall for you. Not sure what the foreground plants are, but I think they might be those etc. plants from Amazon that grow really tall and are not carpeting plants. You might have to do something about that very soon. A solid 4.25 out of 5. Keep up the great work. One nerite snail versus wall of algae. Man, these zebra nerites, they go crazy in the paint, you know what I mean? They're systematic with it. They're playing like the snake game. So proud of this guy. I used to have one that lived with me for like five years. Why, why did I make it sound like we're roommates? Yeah, my roommate was a zebra nere snail. Rent is going buck wild these days. The betta fish always got a photo bomb. Holy moly ravioli, bro. Roly poly -oli. Like an infinity pool filled with beautiful goldfish. Oh, it's a community tank as well. We got angels and there's even some light bearers. I feel like that's okay. A lot of people, the first instinct is to say, go fish only tanks only. This is probably found somewhere tropical. They don't need heaters, they can be kept outside all year long. So basically the goldfish and whatever tropical fish are all experiencing the same temperature. And from what I can see, there's no disease breakout, all the fish look healthy, and the colors are popping off, they're vibrant. There's a lot of water, and it looks like it's getting actively water changed. There's a lot of water movement. This is actually a very healthy system and a super cool concept. I think it's a five out of five, but if you don't approve, let me know why. Oh yeah. I'm going for a little snack there. Damn, son. That crunch. Should start an ASMR channel. Or snail though, bro. Those dentures. There's so much force. It's so hard. It's like human teeth. Kind of freaky, actually. You just see the intelligence behind those big eyes. Dennis Oni Barb trying to get in on some of that action. No chance, bro. Don't get too close. Chomp, chomp. Hey, yo. <laughs> Caught lacking. Oh. First time parent, I guess? Or is that normal breeding behavior? Did it actually eat the eggs or is it gonna like spit it out somewhere and stick it to a plant somewhere? So sad. When your parent gets hungry and needs a midnight snack. Dang nature, you scary. You idiot. Oh damn, right in the feels, bro. I hate that. Number one reason why I don't want fry. However, this one's a full grown adult. It should know better. That's a great picture despite it being stuck in the tube. When you gravel vac and then you see the bucket before you dump it, you very fortunately see that there's some fry or some dump guppies swimming in the bucket. You're like, wow, good thing I've spotted you. You were going into the toilet. Why must you be so trusting and curious? Snickerdoodle sent in their 70 gallon. There's a lot of tetra in there. There's gouramis, angelfish, Siamese algae eater. And they had a fire eel in here, but they gave it away to a much bigger tank. They gave it away to someone with a much bigger tank. Can't talk today. I need like another cup of coffee ASAP. <sighs> That was water. Unfortunate. But fortunately, I have been blessed. My eyes have been blessed by this beautiful tank. Look at the textures. This is a fully decked out 70 gallon. You try to escape a 70 gallon. Tell me how that goes. I, I assure you, it won't look like this. This tank is at least a year old, probably much older. Ooh, the penguin tetras. They match the SAE. So cute. There's a lot of Grammy in here. I hope they are okay aggression wise. They're getting huge, man. And I hope they're getting along with the angels too. When you had your fire eel, did you put it with all these? other fish because that would that would have been crazy there's so many types of plants in here that's one huge java fern i feel like because of the size of the garamis and the plants getting to gigantic sizes you don't realize just how big these things are this is a 70 gallon mind you those penguin tetras are huge those black skirts are gigantic these garamis go wild they are they are hulk size everything in here that's gotta get a five out of five scape score yep that's certified insane bro it's one thing to do this kind of level of aquascape in a 10 gallon 20 gallon 30 gallon 70 gallons man found this on shane why not just mold fish and make them tanks in their exact size and shape at this point savage that's how we do it with the commentary on this channel good job man good job the fish wouldn't even know the difference there's a chance that's photoshop though i hate when people say just google it because this is what google says pets for a five gallon tank guppy 
Siamese fighting fish. Hermit crabs. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> that is crazy, y'all. Google, what are you doing? Now I can't say just Google it. They got a point. They really got a point. Neon Tetra, not the greatest. Dwarf Garami. What kind of dwarf Garami are we talking about? African dwarf frogs. No. Corridor is catfish. No, except for pygmy. And there's light bearer. Okay. Dwarf puffer fish. Pea puffer. Ember tetra. Not the worst. Lizards. It just says lizards. Well, maybe a morning gecko. I can't see anything else fitting in a five gallon properly. I'm sorry to the people that I just said Google it. I now realize my mistake. Does that even count as a fish tank? I guess if we're gonna argue about the definition of a fish tank, we can make it work. But can you just imagine the stench in there? Just like take the photo quickly. I can't put on this fake smile for any longer. Salmonella. This is a fine dining establishment. Honestly, if they really wanted to do something like this. I'd be kind of down if there was like a couple of fish here and there. Be a cool experience like walking in the water with a strong filtration system, live plants, proper water change procedures. Maybe you got to wash your feet before you walk into it. No shoes allowed, of course. And just a couple of koi coming in. You might even feel special if they come up to you. Because this is just desensitizing. Like there's fish everywhere. And it's bad for the fish. It's bad for the people dining there. The air is probably putrid. If there's a couple of fish in there, trust me, it's not going to smell. People just go overboard. Consumerism. I have a bristle nose pleco in a 20 long. You have a common pleco in a 55. We are not the same. 100% agree. Bristlenose Pleco owners are just built different. Bristlenose Master Race. My most recent marketplace find. Instead of goldfish, we got a giant Chinese salamander. <laughs> what do they think? This is a jellyfish or something? <laughs> These guys all know. And oh my goodness. <sighs> the limbs, man. They've got limb rot, gill rot, everything rot. They're really treating it like a plant. Axolotls are... Oh. It's crazy to do this to an axolotl. I don't understand. That's why some pet stores kind of background check you to try to check, see what kind of a uh, fine establishment you have at home waiting for them. China says it's sending fish to its space station for research. Oh, these poor Daniels, these poor beautiful Daniels. I mean, it's hard, you know, for the good of humankind and the advancement of medicine, you know how many mice we had to sacrifice on experiments. And we did create a lot of really beneficial things that saved countless human lives. I don't know, it's a hard argument. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? All right, this is a weird and sad place to end our FTR this week, but rest easy because there's gonna be an FTR next week too. But before I let you guys go, here's this week's Katwa. What's your favorite candy of all time? I won't leave you hanging this time. Mine is either Starburst or Skittles. I love a good chewy candy and I like them fruity. That's right, I said it, I'm a fruity guy. What's yours? If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget, to get your hands wet. Why do I look so serious? Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, clear my fin rod from Carisiformes to Parachirod on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.